Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Trend here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next video, and there's hardly time for introductions. As soon as I hit record, we have our first live attack. Um, this is Avenger, and he's coming at this base with a looks like a Queen Walk Laloon, pretty common. Um, we might see a few of these today, is my guess, because it's um, what seems to be working. Looks like he had to use the Rage and the ability both, so maybe a Wasted Rage right there, possibly. Um, King goes down, he'll take out the Defensive Queen, got the CC troops. I don't know why people make bases like this with the CC right by the Queen all in the corner there. It doesn't seem to go well, because it can be taken out and overpowered so easily with the heroes. Now, he did have to use a Rage that he probably didn't need to, but the Queen's going to walk up. She probably will get that next air defense around 9 o'clock. Um, that one Archer Tower looks like it'll stay up, but the uh, the Queen's still getting good value, dropping in a Wizard on the side there. <clears throat> um, sorry about that. Um, balloons coming in. Uh, that's actually a few nice balloons there. Getting the Archer Tower, just kind of a free trade. Sorry about the notification. Have to have those on because uh, I was doing other stuff yeah, I was doing other stuff uh, before I was recording. Uh, so the queen walks in here. She'll get that air defense. And she should get a few wizard towers, expo possibly. Um, another balloon coming in just to help with the queen. There's no air defenses really, so the balloon should get some good value in there. Unless it hits some traps. Um, yeah, it'll get that expo, some damage on it. So a few more wall breakers. Not sh okay. okay, we'll just um, fight through those notifications. Um, Jesus. Okay, so the queen coming through. Um, okay, she went down actually. A lot of point damage on her. Two archer towers, the expo, the cannon. Just the rage couldn't overcome it. Probably need to get that rage down a little bit earlier. A um, lot of base still left up, and he doesn't have a lot of Laloon. He brought the healers. Um, he brought you know the wall breakers. There was other stuff taking up space. So I think this one is going to be tough. He does have a number of lava hounds making their way through the base, but not many balloons. He used I think three or four balloons at the beginning, and that really put him low on numbers. You can see the Lava Hound's tanking, but there's nothing going in for that air defense. Um, and then there's Wizard Towers, the Expo, the Tesla. Doesn't look like it's going to be a three-star, especially with that sweeper, keeping some of those balloons back. Um, so nice try to um, Avenger from Immoral Thieves. Basically, yeah, I didn't have time to explain any of this, but um, this is <laughs> these notifications. I'll try to turn them off. Um, the only problem is I'm busy working on other stuff while I'm not... Uh, recording because I'm sitting around waiting for attacks so it's hard because I have to like work on other stuff for school and if I don't have those notifications on it's hard to stay updated on what's going on so um, kind of a interesting situation I'm in but yeah this is the war with the moral thieves versus Cl Clantanamo Bay little play on words there I guess I believe this is not a CWL war from what I heard um, just kind of a random match or I think it's a friendly war but I think, I don't know if they're in the, I'm not even sure what's going on in CWL. I'll try to find that out for you guys because it's probably not uh, fair to them for me to just say, yeah, this is some random war if it's not. So I should try to find that out at some point. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with the next attack. You can see we just started here, so should have some more coming soon. Okay, uh, a little bit late into this one. I got out of the corner of my eye. Um... Yeah, Spirit of Victory, next attack, uh, already has been going on for maybe 15 to 20 seconds. Dropped in a few golems, basically created a funnel, it looks like. The queen, the bowlers, everything moving into the base here. Another air attack, hybrid, once again. Uh, giant bomb goes off. I like that heal right there. That was a good heal, because um, the bowlers don't die to a giant bomb, uh, but they get pretty low, and that's where the heal can be really handy. Get those bowlers back up to full health, and looks like they'll get that next air defense and the archer tower behind it on the, on the left side there. Uh, the queen moving through, though. The balloons already coming in. I like the early deployment because the air defenses he needs are down from here. Uh, this way he's making sure the queen um, isn't going to be taken out because the balloons will come in, start to get some of these cannons and stuff. But she's pretty well protected behind golems, so I like that. I think this is looking good. Uh, Lava Hound making its way in. Looks like he's a little bit short on Lava Hounds, actually. Um, yeah, he's... No Lava Hounds and uh, needs those balloons to get that air defense, but they're all going around it. And the few that are going towards it have like no hit points. Okay, these might get it or not. Oh, didn't get it. And no balloons left over, but he'll get everything besides the air defense in that mortar. Wow, that was some unlucky pathing. He has a haste. I don't know if that haste could have helped. Probably. Um, 
just kind of unlucky there. The pathing, just everything died. Um, the lava hounds just couldn't tank long enough. Probably should have got those balloons going a little bit earlier to kind of swarm the air defense before the um, before the lava hounds popped. But I think he might still have a good shot. It's going to be close because he doesn't have. If he had like a wizard for that town hall, that might help. But there's so much HP on the left side of that base there, and the queen has to go through the king right here. Um, he used the ability on the wall, which I think was good, but. 50 seconds, I don't think this is going to be a 3 star, I think it'll be close, but I don't even know if that Town Hall will go down. Town Hall probably will with the minion and possibly the archer on it. Goes ahead and drops that haste, but that's not going to do anything for the uh, minions, for the pup. He'll just have to kind of sit here and wait, nothing else left to deploy. There's that Builder's Hut in the corner, I don't know what will get that. Yeah, this one's not going to fly it looks like. The Queen should do some, um, should do some work here, but I don't think she can get those storages and everything in time. Yeah, nice try to Spirit of Victory, very close. Would have helped to have like a wizard, but um, it's hard to uh, to predict this kind of thing happening. You typically expect to have a lot of balloons and lava pups up, but I think the air defense took out a few of his pups as well before it finally went down. So, oh, he might get that town hall. It's going to be close here, but he doesn't have the builder's hut for sure or that other storage. Nope, doesn't get the town hall. Very close. Um, I'm sure it can be tweaked for a three star. Nice try there. Uh, we'll back out. And I think we might have to hang out and wait a little bit longer for the next attack unless there's anything else going on. Nope. So I will be right back with another attack for you guys. Just caught this one. Uh, yeah, shouldn't be any delay here. Only about five seconds. A lot can happen in five seconds, I guess. Uh, looks like he dropped down the queen and a few healers on her. Baby dragon for the funnel, I guess. And then a balloon for that troll Tesla. Good adjustment. This is a fresh hit, it looks like. So didn't know there was a troll Tesla there. But um, if you see that, you can typically drop a balloon. And that balloon got some great value. Took out that archer tower too before the queen shot it down. The baby dragon doing a good job as well on the top left there. Queen stepping up. He's going to need the... Oh, that rage isn't going to do it. Okay, good. Got the ability. He ha when you're playing the attack, you have to plan when you're going to need the rage because if you're reacting, especially when the queen and there's a lot of point defense, she goes down so quickly, you need to get that rage down proactively as a preventative measure. And he waited till the queen was at about half health before he dropped it. And by then, you know, in a, the second or two it takes to activate and to actually affect the healers, she can go down. So good save on the ability, but needs to get that rage down earlier. I think we've seen that twice now. Um, the first attack, maybe not as much. It was just kind of a, the rage it's, couldn't even uh, overcome all the point defense and all the CC troops. But here, it was easily preventable had he gotten that rage down earlier. So... Um, probably not the biggest deal. The queen, is she going to stay up right here? That air sweeper, ooh, that expo coming over. No, it looks like she'll, she will live. Um, let's scroll down here, see what's going on. Have the lava hounds, the balloons coming in. We are seeing so many air attacks. Haven't seen any ground attacks today. Maybe we'll see some uh, soon. But the balloon deployment's a little bit clumpy. Um, they're not spread out at all. Here they go. They're kind of splitting up a little bit, um, sending some more in. This is a pretty compact base, relatively, so the balloons should be able to, to kind of um, pinball from defense to defense. Spell placement hasn't been great, but I like that poison right there on the scale on the air skellies. Um, that way they go down. They're not going to harass his balloons any longer, take out any pups. He needs all of that. This one's actually going to be an e easy three star. I think the it's weird, the deployment I didn't think was that great on the balloons and the spells, but um, he crushed this base and unlike some of the other attacks, got the three star easily. He should have plenty of time to finish up here. So many balloons, quite a few lava pups and the queen as well. So nice attack to Charlie this is, um, getting the three star. First one of the day for me in my recording. So basically I have to, uh, to take a break here, go away for a few hours, got some stuff to do. But I'm thinking later later tonight I will come back and record a few attacks for you guys. Not sure how many, but I should catch at least one tonight. Maybe some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 action. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and back out, make sure there's nothing else going on. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it looks like we have something going on in this bottom Town Hall. No, that was a Town Hall 9. Just caught that. Don't want to show that. Um, so I'll be right back with an actual attack for you guys. Okay, what's this? Um, it's a little bit later in the day, but we have a Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 11 attack. 
This is probably the last one I'll be able to record. Just, um, it's, I've been waiting for a long time for an attack. It's kind of late for some of the East Coast people and other places in the world, I guess. So not many people on, but we have Ben. And uh, he is going to try to two-star this Town Hall 11 with a bowler composition, it looks like. A pretty easy CC lure, just dropped in a few hogs and got the defense and got the CC lure. Now he's using a few archers to pull everything out and then a baby dragon. He will have to wait a while if he wants that baby dragon to completely destroy the lava hound. However, he has plenty of time on these two star attempts. You can usually wait till like a minute 30 before you send your troops in, especially if there's nothing else um, to like drop around the outside. He's using a few minions just to create the funnel, I think. Otherwise percentage, but I think that's for the funnel. It looks like he's gonna come from the bottom left is my guess around seven o'clock another baby dragon to really you know doing some work on this lava hound trying to get down quickly i assume the baby dragons will get some extra value as they come in hopefully take out those rb camps maybe a storage or two they are somewhat low on health from those pups but here they go and boom seeking air mine uh on that oh another seeking air mine so two seeking air mines that's unfortunate a pretty big investment to take out the cc but has the funnel created um, not sure how he's going to create the funnel on the bottom here. Actually, look, this is a really wide funnel. Look at this. He's coming from basically both sides of the bottom here. And looks like he'll come at the base around the air defense. Has a jump spell and four quakes. So he's really going to invest in opening this base up. I like it. Um, letting those bowlers roam free in the middle of the base. Funnel was perfect, it looks like. Almost all of those bowlers going into the base. Has the rage, has the heal and the freeze, so perfect combination of spells. I, I love this attack, everything is uh, going perfectly right here. Um, Inferno is down, Eagle is down, uh, they'll step up, step up on that town hall right here. Bowler's doing some nice work. Things are gonna peter out right here because there's so many defenses on the top half of that base, but he already has 53%, has a few minions it looks like working. Queen's ability, maybe two more defenses from that. This should be about uh, 57, 58%. Uh, yeah, queen goes down, has, looks like, okay, nothing left. So 57% awesome attack. Nice job to Ben. That'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Not a lot of attacks for them. Um, I would like to catch some Town Hall 10 action, but just wasn't able to today. So maybe you'll see that in like a recap or something uh, for sure. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. And I uh, got the Super Bowl later today, so... Um, let me know who you're rooting for in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see that. I am rooting for the Patriots. Um, no comment beyond that, though. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Sectatron out.